guys. Jen here. Hope you're all doing well. I was just sitting here reminiscing, petting Sam and taking a minute. Went for a brisk walk this morning. And I wanted to go over a couple of things. It, this is going to, this video is not going to be for everybody, but um, it's going to be kind of a little potpourri of things that relate to my personal testimony. And I speak to that so much because Number one, um, it's the best way that I can relate to others that there are spiritual things happening and I'm trying to point them out physically through physical manifestations to others so that people maybe recognize again that they have a spirit and I have a spirit and you have a spirit and we are made in the image of God and we should try to have that mutual respect for each other and not, um, you know, not be hasty on the internet and calling each other crazy and just all of these types of things and that's kind of getting me a little um disappointed I guess lately is I know the scripts of pretty much every paradigm I know um the questions like I know immediately when it's an atheist I'm speaking with or if it's a democrat or a republican or you know whatever paradigm that person seems to like gravitate towards because of the extremism happening today, and it's just disheartening. So I wanted to speak to a couple of things that um, hopefully everybody will understand. But for the new people, um, give the channel a chance, because maybe it's not as polished as other channels, but I hope the content um, is rich and that it feeds your spirit in some type of way. Everyone is welcome here. Um, the only thing that's not welcome here is willful ignorance and hate towards, you know, other people. Um, that's pretty much it. So I wanted to show you this video I made. I was going to upload this video alone, but I want to give you a little preface to it. These are things I've spoken about throughout the channel. Um, this is an ongoing story, and every video is built on the videos before it. And so if you... I don't expect everyone to sit down and watch every video and hours and hours of content, but please also don't expect me to go over every item, you know, of my belief system or who I am in every single upload because that will take forever. But I, so on that note, I ask that you give the videos a chance. Um, they may be different, but I think there is something here for everyone that might give you a light bulb moment and say, okay, I can make this connection here. Or, hey, I have a piece of the puzzle. You know, this happened to me and I tested it, you know, scientifically with logic and reason through observation and trying to repeat things that are happening first and then going to, okay, this is a supernatural synchronicity. So what we're going to talk about now is help other people manifest their signs, how they signal each other. And sometimes how they do things unconsciously without even knowing it. This has been an ongoing thing. I talk about it um, whenever it comes up. And I do point it out. Um, I try not to call out people and just, you know, speak in a, in a spiritual abstract sense because I'm a pacifist. Um, Sammy sneezed. I apologize. But with that, we're going to watch this short video. And then um, I'm going to tell you another quick story, um, something that happened that is very um high in the strangeness um area and then i'm gonna um, also show you a channel that has a really um strange synchronicity and i'm going to refer you to it um just know that i haven't watched all of their content um only a couple of shorts and bits of a couple of videos uh but i want to show you a couple of things so let's go on a quick journey watch this real quick at dogs who need homes um, around the area. That's how I found the dogs that I do have, and I'm a big proponent of that. But I had to show you this real quick. Do you remember? Well, you probably don't, because a lot of you are... Some of you are new here and didn't migrate over from the original channel. Part of my quote-unquote testimony, part of what I like to um, reveal to people, is that around the time of 2018... When all of these strange things began to happen around me and I made all of these, started to begin to make some observations of things that were going on, I said that some of my 
Facebook friends, family, friends, and loved ones, including the spouse, had made like new accounts and or had changed their profile picture and they were now sideways. Some completely upside down. Now, mind you, these are people, like I said, I I sold things online. I went to online college. A lot of these people understand at least the basics of netiquette and social media um, technology and the usage of it and how to upload a picture. So this is something, again, I say they talk to each other through these signs and symbols and signals. And so I just wanted to show you, and you know how... The cat thing, the spirit of the cat has been real prevalent. Um, We are back in Babylon. It seems like the Egyptian spirit of religion is really strong in our current time. And we talked about that as well when CV began about how they did that procession in Egypt with the beautiful lights and everybody dressed in tokas and whatnot. And they transported or moved these um, coffins, sarcophagi, which um, then also led me to a story about black goo being found on the, or black residue, they called it, being found on the outsides of these coffins. And that's what got me started on talking about black goo animating things, like in the movie Ghostbusters with the pink slime. Mind you, I'm using movies and pop culture to kind of explain some of the symbology that I'm seeing manifest in our physical world from the spirit realm. So I always try to show proof of the things that I talk about. Here's a cat upside down. You'll notice it's not an every post thing. This is a classified site with animals on it. Okay. So we go down to this cat, and this cat is upside down. And then a couple later, there's another cat upside down. Um, So I just wanted real quickly to show you that and show you how it does kind of stand out. And um, just again to show these proofs of uh, the things that I talk about. All right, have a blessed day. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys. Okay, so there's that. Um, Do with that information as you will. If people that you know have made new Facebook accounts over the last few years, if they have multiple Facebook accounts, if their pictures are sideways or upside down or they are taking their picture while they are laying in bed and posting it upside down or sideways, um, these are ways that they seem to talk to each other. And again, I'm not accusing anyone, uh, but there is a really strong spirit prevalent and on that note um i want to refer you to a channel that somebody else just shared with me so know this going in i don't know everything about this channel um i've only watched snippets but um i want to show you this because again this is something i've talked about often and i even asked somebody about a specific birthday and the gematria involved And they said, oh, it looks like a birthday. Um, It doesn't remind me of anything, but they wouldn't even like plug it in. And I was very surprised at that. And, you know, just because it's a birthday, you're not going to check the numbers. They're not valid. They might not show a sign of something. And so um, I'm going to tell you something personal that relates to all this in the end. Again, to kind of tie it up with a bow and show that I'm doing this in a scientific manner. These are real world examples of things I've talked about. Um, Now, the rat was prevalent in my story because we went to get our taxes done two years ago when CV began, and they would not let me in there with him at the same time. Um, And he comes out and he says, I said, oh, that person went in, and they said, yeah, they." I said, they had a baby um, with them. You know, isn't that considered unsafe? He said, yeah, it wasn't a baby. It was a rat in the baby carrier. I said, what do you mean it was a rat? What kind of nonsense is this you're telling me now? Because he knows how I feel about a lot of these things. I'm very open in the fact that I'm like, you're not the same person. Um, If that is literally or figuratively, I don't even know at this point. Um, I'm supposed to walk this out the same way and be as loving as I can and giving truth and be as 
exemplifying as I can of the spirit of Christ, but also to stand firm in my faith and to not be manipulated into doing things that aren't appropriate. But that's why the rat was prevalent in my story. 72 is also very prevalent. Um, it comes up all the time. It came up when we were studying, researching CV. Um, it came up being the year um, they stopped giving the smallpox um, injectables out. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. That's a fact. You can go fact check it. Um, they stopped giving that out, and there was rumors that this dark winter was going to include that plague, um, and that was the year they quit giving that out to people. And so, 72 is also the year, um, and I can tell you this because I'm not giving away names or anything, that was the year uh, my spouse was born, and I've said over and over, like, wow, did I marry the Antichrist? I think the Antichrist was born in 1972 because of all the different strange um, things happening in 72. It's almost like an information dump, like 1912. Like, there's so much information. It couldn't possibly have all been written down. It's like they must have had computers um, or somebody went back and is trying to cover something up. So they dumped a whole pot, you know, a whole bunch of nonsense into that year which is totally possible because I believe that we're seeing that happen in real time today I don't want this to be too long so here's in his description he said rat generation x all happened in 1972 was the year of the rat um which is true and I would like to make it known that rats are also known to be that's also slang for a narc or um someone who like a tattletale like a rat you know um, an informant, basically. So Alcor, Pong and Atari, Title IX, Bill Gates, um, traffic, you know, data. Last full picture of Earth uh, was shown in 1972. I did not know that. Pioneer, t and most of those are paintings or renderings by an artist. So I'm going to look into that one. Pioneer 10, Last Man to Walk on the Moon. CERN had an 1,000 times spike, Hawking Black Hole, Event Horizon, Birkenstein black hole entropy, which I've talked ad nauseum about entropy. I didn't even know that was involved with that year. Atlas 1, WWF, which is telling because WWF is a Masonic organization. Um, this is known. And most Masonic organizations um, involve actors. Like, have you seen that? And not decent actors, really, really bad actors. I find it telling. They're using that word in politics a lot. I'd never heard that till the past couple of years. Um, I actually have one of his videos paused right now. Sorry about that. It is when the Tower 1 was built. Hail Boggs. Flight 57. Cannibalism. Flight 571. Netanyahu. Not sure what that means. I'll have to look into it. Deadliest year in aviation. CIA remote viewing started. I did not know that. CIA's Corona. CIA Operation Popeye. I'm going to look into those. Those are new to me. It's not very often Often I see new information, so that's interesting. Um, say I lost funding for the MK Ultra, so it all went underground, probably through private contracting, which means it's also there's no checks and balances. It also probably got a lot more nefarious. Rothschild's surre Surrealist Ball. Trump investigation for housing discrimination. Huh. Watergate. Richard Nixon invites China to NWO election landslide. Shirley Chisholm adoration was illegal. I did not know that. Barrett was born. Biden young, youngest senator. Biden's wife and daughter die. Didn't know that. ERA. You know, if he ends up being the AC and we're sitting here talking about the AC and we didn't even know like he is it. I know he's the lawless one because he's just signing all these executive orders. And in case you didn't notice, yeah, we're in a time of lawlessness. Um, LP man died, Miami Dolphins, uh, undefeated in the NFL. I told you Florida's a big thing with this. Dollar League, tender only, Dow Jones. Salt One Treaty, OTC, Drug Review, CDC, Tuskegee, Recombin, Recombinant, <laughs> DNA, Biological Convention, DARPA, USS Kitty Hawk, Race Riot. Hoover died, Truman died, did not know that. Longest year in history. Yeah, it seems to have a whole lot of things that happened. It doesn't even seem to be possible. His name is Rat Generation X. Um, and so I'm going to check out his channel. And here's his referral. Somebody shared it with me. So 
sometimes I'm, I, I suspect that people I deal with in the computer only, um, I worry about things being interfered with. And I know that people try to manipulate through the information they send me. I know that. Um, so I have to be on guard and I have to always test the spirit. I hope that you do too. So now I'm going to tell you something personal that happened um, that relates to some of this with the Babylonian um, issues. And I already told you about the 1972 um, and literally feeling like sometimes I'm literally married to the Antichrist. <laughs> um, but I think, I hope that's just the spirit of the AC, um, the Antichrist spirit, you know, bothering me since it can't possess me or, you know, um, manipulate me at least as much as it used to, then it harasses me. I don't know why I get harassed so much. Um, obviously Christ received a whole lot of, uh, harassment. The demons followed him. Even the demons followed him. Uh, he often called his own disciple Satan. So we know how that goes, but it doesn't make it any easier. So when I was working, something happened and I wasn't sure if I should share this or not because it is so personal. And I wish I could show you guys pictures of how things used to be with me and my boys because we were so affectionate even till, until their, their teens when all this stuff just started to go bad. But um, we were very tight and it was abnormal, I guess. And people did not like it. They were envious of it. And that was one thing specifically they did not like was how close I was to my children. And so that's been greatly interfered with. And I didn't know if I should share this. Now, I've told you about my youngest suddenly meeting someone uh, when he went to work with the spouse and moving out. He had never had a girlfriend, nothing. And almost literally the day that like he started opening up to me again, he was set to move out. And I did not want them like hanging out here and sleeping over here, but she would bring him home from work and they would hang out and he would ask if she can stay. Um, some parents know how that goes, but it was very much like me and my spouse. And I tried to sway him away from that. Like, you know, this is really fast. It was really fast for him and I, and you know, look at all the problems we still have today because we didn't really know each other, regardless of how I feel, um, about whether or not people can be replaced or like, you know, if those science fiction things can happen that we talk about, um, that we read about in the Bible, in the book of Enoch, that we see in movies, um, regardless of whether or not that's true, for all intents and purposes, their spirits might still be in those vessels. So they are still my family. Um, I'm a pacifist anyway. So let's say it was an alien life form for um, laughs. I would still behave the same. I'm still not going to be violent. I'm still not going to do any harm because that's not what we're called to do. And so I didn't know if I should share this story with you. And I told you about how also she dyed her hair like mine, um, how that is also in that Black Mirror episode um, about uh, them recording and broadcasting the life and streaming the life of that girl, Joan how that is so much like my own story and how sorry Sammy was getting comfortable are you okay little girl boy you are just lumpy I apologize um and I told you how much they were like me and my spouse um to the point even our symbols the yin yang and the um <sighs> This is hard. And these are things they're all telling me, right? Like, oh, she likes the yin yang and, um, you know, that's what she likes. So that's what I got on the necklaces. And then she comes over with tattoos, didn't have a single tattoo. And I had had some cut out and setting on my china cabinet. And these tattoos are of the same, um, family of tattoos. They're just floral. They're very simple, but they're beautiful in their simplicity, I think. And, um, they go well together if you got one here and one there. And so I had them setting out. So the tattoos she comes over with are the same. And then on her social media profiles, 
Um, she has a little bear next to my son's name. That's what I called my husband when we first got together. And um, that's the only one of the only pictures she ever sent me was a Christmas t-shirt that she had gotten that had a bear on it. So it's like, again, I'm seeing all these symbols. What are they showing me without telling me? And again, if you've watched YouTube for any amount of time, you know that that's something they do. They don't, and even my mother-in-law taught me that. People don't tell you who they are, Jennifer. They show you who they are. Um, your words should match, match your actions because words have power. But these deceivers don't. They're Pharisees. They're Sadducees. They do not understand. They were there at Golgotha. They are the same spirits of anything that stands against Christ, against truth, against love and life and light. And so they're tormenting me with all these little things. And my spouse even asked me the one day, he said, you see how he cuddles with her? And I said, yeah, it's sweet. And that was at first before all this weird stuff started happening. And he just looked at me. And then later on, um, he said, uh, I said, why do they have so many things that are like us? Do you see that? He's like, oh, are you going to say they're us reincarnated? I said, no, you can't be reincarnated. They're, we're still here. And then I'm like, wait a second. We've seen this, though, with near-death experiences and people changing, um, with astral projection. Suddenly somebody, their whole persona will change. I changed. My appetite changed. The way I eat changed. Um, but so did other people. Like, there's a lot of us who are going through changes, but I am the same individual. Uh, as far as I know, <laughs> anyways, so they're showing me all these things. And the spouse had told me before, you know, if I ever strayed on you, I would do it right in front of your face. Um, and all these things that he said to me, like are happening, but through my son. And I'm like, this is weird, dude. Like, this is just weird. And I told them, quit gaslighting me. Like whatever game you're playing, just stop doing it. I'm not going to participate and so I just don't talk to them anymore really I don't talk to anybody because I'm not going to be I'm not going to allow these um, spirits these beings to operate through my family and punish me through them if that makes sense um, just in case their spirits are still in there the best thing I could probably do is pray for them and keep my distance but if it's not them the best I can do is pray against, you know, the spirit of these ancient ones, okay, through God. So now this thing that happened, again, I did, then I did those videos about how it was being shown to me that reincarnation is not something that happens at the birth of the body or the death of the body. It can happen at any time. But the two spirits um, have to consent. Now, this is key. They will gain your consent through passive means. So I think this is being done to a lot of individuals at this time. And it is spoken of in the Hopi prophecy, in the book of Revelation, and in the book of Enoch. It is also spoken of in the Essene Gospels, which I will introduce you to um, again very soon uh, in a more full manner because I have them here with me, or at least the big one with me. Um. This has been rather long. I do apologize for the length. I'm going to go ahead and upload it and see what happens. Um, but the story about my son is, I might, actually I might stream this live and just do a sh screen recording uh, so people get to see it because otherwise it'll take forever to upload from a cell phone and nobody will watch it because they'll think it's nonsense when actually, again, these are little puzzle pieces to, um, what I believe that I've been shown is happening, uh, in our time. And I've talked to others who, some who do agree. So, you know, if you want to point your finger and call me crazy, it just makes you look like you are lacking in intelligence. You would not last a minute in a room with somebody like Bishop Barron or, um, one of our favorite psychologists, uh, Professor Jordan. Um, even though he, <laughs> He is a uh, suspect at times, too. Sympathy for the Devil. They were all sharing that song, too, and so did that professor. But any or doctor, whatever he is now. <laughs> Anyways, um, when I was working, um, and I was filling these balloons up for this little boy, 
And there was a bunch of them, and it was his birthday. And his mom... Did I tell you this story already? Hold, please. I had to go back and see if I already told this story, but I don't think that I did. And a lot of people might have missed it. I brought up this image because I really like it, and I think it holds truth. But anyways, um, so... I was filling up these balloons, and this boy's mom she was dressed in like army gear and said he was gonna have a army party and I asked him his name and he said his name was Zach and I'm horrible with names um I don't know why I remembered it now some of these things that are shown to me and said to me are done one-on-one -on -one. that is because when you have witnesses that establishes a fact that builds credibility they don't want me to have any credibility anymore that's why they took my platforms from me um that's why they canceled me before canceling was even a thing Anyways, I was filling these balloons up and talking to them and just really enjoying the conversation. And the girl looked like someone, um, again, they sent these people in who, the neighbors in who were all involved in like, either willingly, knowingly, or unknowingly in um, tormenting my family, or at least me in some part of way, and uh, destroying the, our family unit. But anyways, because I do believe people signed up for this. Like, they, they signed up to be rats. They signed up to be traitors, basically. That's what we're dealing with. Uh, but nobody will say it yet because they're not waving any flags. I don't think we need to see flags. I, I You know, I don't care what nationality someone is, what religion they are. We're seeing a lot of traitors against love and unity and life and the family unit. Um... And, and just general overall love for your neighbor. But anyways, so they go to say goodbye and this little boy, Alex, gives me a hug and he says, oh, she smells so good because I always use a vanilla because it smells like French toast and I'm not allergic to it. But my boys always said that. Oh, you smell like French toast, mama. You smell like, can we have French toast, mama? You smell like French toast. And the little boy was like, mm, you smell so good. And they started to leave, and I said, here, I'll get the doors for you. So I go to get the doors, and as we're in the inner door there, when you're, when you're in between both doors, and we're about to go out, she says, here you go, see, or, see, and she called him my son's name. And I'm like, what the heck was that about? She, I, he's Zach. So again, um, and this was after the issue with the son, um, it's like they're showing me that my family is now in other vessels and they're trying to get me either to consent to reincarnation or to believe in it or just to know that it's a thing. Now, those of you who don't understand the message and who might point fingers and just like, maybe you have a knee jerk, angry reaction and you'll come at me personally. Um, I forgive you right off the bat. But also, um, I would say this message isn't for you. You're not at a point in your walk yet where you're going to be accepting of the fact that these things are spoken of in the Bible. And I believe a lot of this happens by consent. And I also believe um, we were given this place and God tells us, you know, pretty much to have free will and agency and choice. And people are choosing to do these things. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a live video and probably broadcast this. And basically just set my phone down and let it play. But I hate hearing myself. So I really don't want to do that. And I actually have a small, um, another testimonial part I can add to this. Hold please. Another way that I think this is occurring is through the baptism of the dead in the Mormon church. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's in bad form. I think it's highly disrespectful. And I think it is ancestor worship, which some people believe um, that the Antichrist will be a part of ancestor worship. I think it will also be part of, we're going to see a big ecumenical church, um, and the Catholics, the Mormons, and probably the Muslims will head this up because those are the temples that they built at that same site. So anyways, I'm going to, maybe I'll upload it. Maybe I'll stream it live. I haven't decided yet, but if you stayed for the whole thing, I hope there was some bit in here, some gold nugget that will help you on your journey. God bless you and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.